What is going on guys, Jesse504 here, bringing you all SBU Week 4 going up against Tone and his Miami Malamarlins. Um, so, obviously this week we're back to these pretty pretty graphics, but yeah, school's been going better, um, had more time, so there's that. Um, Tone has a very very scary team. Uh, he elected not to grab an S tier, which I thought was interesting, but so the one undrafted S tier is Speed Boost Blaziken, and one could argue that Dragapult might be better. I would say that it isn't better, but at the same time, like, I think you would rather take that round one Dragapult compared to the round one of the tier ones that were left, or the S tiers that were left. Um, so I figured that would work well for him, and it makes sense why he did it. And I think that his team turned out very, very well, um, regardless of not having an S tier, because I think you can argue that Dragapult is an S tier, basically. That's like kind of why I think it turned out so well. I think if you like went like S tiers, you know, maybe like your top mon was like Torrenty, I don't think you could have, you know, had a team as good. But since Tone's team, uh, his he lacks an S tier, but he has Dragapult. I think it works out well for him. His team consists of Dragapult, Zapdos, Melmetal. Nido Queen, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Gardevoir, Blissey, uh, Aron or not Aron, geez, what am I saying? Or Beetle, Persian Alola, Magmortar, and Lorantis in descending tier order. Um, mons that I expect: Pult, Zapdos, Nido Queen, Gardevoir. I think those four for sure. And then the other ones I'm not as sure. I feel like a Persian with foul play could be quite solid for uh, for Tone, just like to stop you know some like crazy setups with Galios. And I think he might want a Blissey, you know, just to sort of slow down my special offense. Although my special offense isn't that strong, actually thinking about it. So maybe I think he just wants or Beetle for Webs or Melmetal or Urshi. But I think both of those kind of get stuffed by packs. So. Um, he might not want to go to those, but Urshi would be kind of solid. You know, just another mod that resists water for Dracovish. Also, Lorantis potentially for the same reason, but the Urshi actually outspeeds, and Lorantis will get too tapped. So, there is that. But starting us off, I just like to say, in Diet Tight, Jason, he built my team. I wasn't, you know, feeling like building a team, and he came in clutch. He built me a team. Starting off with a weakness policy, Solgaleo, Calm Mind, Morning Sun, Flamethrower, Flash Cannon. We need to wear down the Zapdos, and then this can win. Urshi, ra Urshi walls this, but at the same time we kind of wall Urshi, and Urshi will not beat him on that he sends in until he sees our full sets. We just have to, you know, beat Blissey first. I personally might have opted for, like, you know, Psy Shock over Flash Cannon, but I, I understand the merits of Flash Cannon for the Gardevoir, and, um, yeah. But... I probably would have built it a little bit more fat with the Calm Mind plus Weakness Policy. You don't really need as much special attack, but still works. Like Up next, we've got Life Orb Torn with Hurricane Superpower Knockoff U-Turn. This does really well for everything other than Zapdos. Um, Zapdos and Melmetal are only flying resists. As far as I know, Superpower is good for Melmetal and Blissey. Knock is great for items, and U-Turn will do chip. And, you know, we'll just kind of do more damage with that life where very mixed offensive. Uh, I don't really need that much speed. I can just outspeed the Melmetal. Or not the Melmetal, I'm saying the Zapdos is right next to the Melmetal because fuck Persian. Persian is so bad, it's not going to come. Um, I don't think it is worth speed creeping. And Jason agrees with me. Uh, he didn't opt to go boots. Rockers here are Needle Queen, which can, you know, get rocks, I think, pretty reliably um, if it wants to. Which is also super good offensively. And then Blissey, I don't think Blissey's that great. I don't have that much special offense outside of like Torn and Rotom for him to really warrant having Blissey. Obviously, I'm bringing a special Soul Galia this week, but you can also just get like Sunsteel Strike to close combat into Oblivion. And there's no reason for him to have that. Um, up next, we have Dracovish Scarf, Vicious Rend, three other filler moves that you don't really need to care about. Because you just kind of click rend, Pult can take two, uh, or Pult can take one and force me out. Gardevoir will be Scarf to revenge me. Other than that, eh, he doesn't do much. So, just we can't let webs get up from the Ore Beetle, and we will be all good. Up next, Aromatisse. 
244 HP, 222 defense, 12 special attack. Jason forgot to give it a nature, but we don't mind. Uh, it's for the bolts. Um, we got Moonblast, Wish Tech, Magic Coat. Magic Coat's interesting, could potentially bounce back Nido Queen Rocks if I'm feeling crazy. Could bounce back Orbital Webs if I find myself in that opportunity to uh, to come in on those. Um, obviously, it lets in Melmetal very freely, which is annoying, but. If the Melmetal doesn't come, it lets in Neoqueen very freely, which, you know, can be tough to pivot around, but with a Wish in the Air, it becomes a little easier to pivot around. So, we just have to play smart um, with our Aromatisse, if it's our Dragapult check. We cannot be uh, sub-disabled or whatever because of um, Aroma Veil, so Mono Attack is fine. Up next, we have the debut of our Mian Xiao. Um, with the Protective Pass, we don't get Zapto Statics. With U-Turn Close Combat, knock off Stone Edge. Um, I think this does well. His fighting resists are Pult and Gardevoir. Neither er, and or Beetle, none of them want to take knockoff. Gardevoir I guess can absorb, but Gardevoir needs to keep its scarf. Uh, I guess because Neo Queen. Neo Queen's just very good as the pivot into this, but Neo Queen doesn't really want to lose its life orb. Um, or its black sludge, whatever. I, I think life orb offensive Neo Queen rips, so I think that uh, he will be life orb offensive. Um, maybe with rocks, but then rocks stabs and whatever fourth move he wants to complement it could be like ice beam could be like super fang could be taunt could be t-spikes i have a pack so i don't think it's t-spikes but whatever um up next finally we have the tangle tangle is also making his debut here for the uh urshifu and melmetal it's knockoff giga drain leaf seed sleep powder puts them to sleep greatest move when it hits awful when it misses Knockle, you know, remove an item or two potentially. Um, Giga Drain can help us stay a little bit healthier, even though we can just always switch with regen. Um, yeah, just kind of a good thing to stop all his physical offense from going off. But yeah, that is the team we are bringing this week, and I will see you guys in the battle. Alrighty, and we are at team preview. We see Dragapult, Zapdos, Urshidifoshidi, Nido Queen, Gardevoir, and Or Beetle. Okay, so, Jason built me this team. What would Jason do? Jason probably would have me leading Mian Xiao. I think Mian Xiao is pretty cool. And protective pad, won't get static. Tone elects not to bring the Mel Metal, which is pretty cool. He brings the Ore Beetle. Ore Beetle is interesting. I don't really know what it does. I know it has webs. I kind of wanted to lead Aromatisse to magic coat the webs. Jason didn't give me removal, but it's fine. So Galio's full metal body. Um, Tangela and uh, Romatiste don't really care about webs. Torn is off the ground, so webs are kind of annoying, but they are what they are. Good luck, have fun to Tone. Tone's a have fun or no good lucker. So obviously SMH, SMH, SMH. Oh boy, and yeah, my sister's FaceTiming me, but I cannot talk to her right now. Oh no, black screen of death. Game? Game? I hear music, but I do not know what is going on. Um. Um. Okay, let's see what tone's at. You want a black screen? Two. Let's see. Okay. As long as he's in the same spot as me, I think we're fine. Alrighty. And restart. But I'm gonna wait for like a little bit. But if it stays oh never mind did you get booted i'm not in yet um oh there we go quetzalcoatl is the zapdos i can u-turn without fear into what okay well i need my timer to pop up you know, this game is just exceedingly slow. I need my moves to pop up. But 
I'm not even sure what's going on, but we do see the Zapdos need. I guess this is giving me time to put my mons into the calc. I actually don't know if I even imported the team to sports. So... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna U-turn out. Um, I know I changed, like, the Solgaleo a lot, so... Like, not very effective. And we come back. And... I guess we go into Solgaleo, like, that's, I guess, what we have for it. Um, okay. I'm trying to find my team. He just goes for the discharge. Eep. No para. No para. Okay. What do you go in for this mon? You don't really have a good switch in. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna flamethrower. You don't really have a good switch in though. Why am I flamethrowing? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. I'm playing stupid. I just saw a move that would do damage, but you know what? Hopefully he goes Orbeetle, and then it looks good. That's where I'm at right now. I don't think I'm ready to Calm Mind yet, so... He just discharges again, and we chew. We get Parad, which is unfortunate, but we get off the Flamethrower. Now we can Morning Sun and hopefully not get full parad. And go from there. He probably will go pull tier. If I had to guess, actually. He just raw discharges again. No crits, please. No full paras, please. Fuck. That's AIDS. That's very annoying. Ugh. I mean, like, I'm playing with it, but, you know... Ugh, that's annoying, annoying. We're just like gonna lose our Solgaleo. Can I recover on it? I can recover on the Gore Beetle. I guess I go into this. I can also pass Wish into it. But I think I can recover on Gore Beetle. He discharges. This will crit me, right? No, that's not a crit. This thing's just strong. Okay, I will wish. Um, what is this? Dracovich to a Zapdos. Level 50 Zapdos. He's gonna like die. Okay, so we wish. What you go into? Minerva is the Nitto Queen. I feel like if I can catch this with my Solgaleo, I'll be in a good spot again, but I feel like he's gonna, you know, play around me trying to catch this with my Solgaleo. He's probably gonna click, like, Earth Power or something. I feel like Torn is a fine play here, because I'll catch the Wish. Solgaleo is like the risk high, risk high reward type play, because if I catch the Wish, I'll be fine, but I, I think he's gonna click Earth Power here, expecting me to catch the Wish or some sort of hazard. But I truly believe that Earth Power is his best play. He doesn't want my Solgaleo to catch the Wish. Yeah, that's what they thought. Um, is there like a Mon that I want to knock? Like, what's the switch in? It's definitely Zapdos. I don't want to get like staticed. I'm gonna double into Dracovish. He goes for the Ice Beam, that's fine. That has Chip, but that's fine. Dracovish is so tall. I'm gonna Ficious Rent. And I think get my one. Adamant Strongjaw Scarf. Should get me my one. Um... 
Yeah, Adamant Scarf should get me my one. He switches into... Ip Man. The fuck is an Ip Man? This is gonna do damage damage. Yeah, that's a two tap. I feel like you gotta be Scarf or Pads. Either way, I think Tangle is my play. I feel like you're Scarf. But I have a whole ass Pax! This doesn't make sense, I should have just taken my kill. Whatever. I probably... I feel like scouting is still the play. He drain punches. Yeah. He's definitely like a bulk up set, like sub bulk up. I'm gonna knock something though. I feel like knocking something is always good. Or I can get up leech seed. Like worst case he subs. I feel like getting up some leech seeds is good. He U-turns, yeah. Um Okay, so, let's see, I did expect the U-turn to come out, and we know he's not Scarf, so next time I can get Dracovish and it gets its one. Um, Zap comes in, yeah, as expected. Leech, leech up, and then we'll get some residual. He probably is clicking like a hurricane here. That's good good recovery. We'll go back up to full. I think we have to sack the Solgalia though. I don't think it's like worth trying to preserve, honestly. I just don't think it's I don't think I'm gonna get the opportunities I need. And I feel like the, he could just click Roost here though, but like the, the opportunities that I'm gonna get to recover it is just not gonna be good enough. And... Yeah, he Roosts. Should've called it, but... Ugh! I need to play with myself. We'll get a little bit of residual. This is gonna not help that much. But now I'm gonna go aromatease on a weaker discharge and I actually grabbed a little bit of health. I feel like I'm switching too much for me to be really accomplishing anything though. But I'll be able to wish and then catch my wish. Probably with Sogalio. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it the second time around. We do see that discharge coming through. I'm gonna need to catch my wish with aromatease actually. I need to stay relatively healthy. Actually, depends if he wants to go for another one or not, because like I'll be relatively healthy after another round of lefties if he chooses to stay in, especially with the leech seed. So I can play with these wishes. <laughs> um, I just need to push progress, and push progress equals get Dracovision. If I double with the Dracovish one time, I'll be in a good spot. Um, Minerva. Uh, I'll go into Dracovish raw here. Pure ass clicks outreach. Good ass play, I guess. But catching a Draco or catching a wish with Dracovish will get me another kill. I feel like you click Earth Power here. Maybe Sludge Wave. Maybe Ice Beam trying to catch the Torn. Maybe you just get up a hazard, I don't know. Earth powers, we should live. Barely, but we do. And we know that this thing isn't Scarf. So, we'll get our Ficious Run kill. We know that Ocean of Ocean isn't Scarf. Meaning that it's most likely pads, considering I have a whole ass Pax. That would come in on it every time. Cool. So I think we get our one. And that one is the It Man. Cool. And we got a kill. And he has to go pull tier, probably, and his ass could click U-turn. He could also just raw Draco. I feel like 
I call him U-turning and I get another kill, so I feel like he almost has to Draco or like at least Shadow Ball me. Okay. Put on the chance. He goes into Zapdos. Dracovish to Zapdos. What I'm calking is a kill. You're not Scarf, and I'm outspeeding you. He's going for a static para is what it looks like to me. Don't static me, please. I think static would have proc, so. Free Zapdos, I guess. <laughs> um I'll take that. I'll take it. I mean like. Here's the pult. Drago pult. I'll go into aromatease. Um then I'll wish and protect and be in a fine spot. Let's see, are you gonna be physical or special? He subs. He could be sub disable, but I am actually Aroma Veil, which means that I cannot be disabled, so I'm not as afraid of that set. He's sub D Wave Hex, is what I would assume. I really want to click Magic Coat. Does Magic Coat go through sub? No. Does Magic Coat go through sub? Well, I can't find it. So I'm going to click Wish. <laughs> um, unfortunately. He clicks Phantom Force. Interesting, but I do not have a normal present. And I don't believe I have a normal present on my roster. I have an auto now. That's right, but I am fine tanking a phantom force, catching my wish, and going from there. Um, it'll be a lot, especially because I can't protect through it, but that's like not that bad. <laughs> um, Quick Moonblast, catch my wish. He'll either sub up again, or... Because, like, I think his only way to, say, or to hit me would be Phantom Force. So I can just keep Moonblasting. If he clicks Phantom Force, I'll throw up a wish, and then I will be able to get it without him being able to hurt me. Um, he could be sub DD. He could have the DD. I feel like you'd switch here, but I'm kind of forced to click Moonblast, because I already clicked it. Um, he switches though, I feel like I could call that. Minerva. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to protect see what you go for, but you could just get up rocks, and that'd be a waste of a turn for me. But I'm gonna go into my torn. He doesn't have a wish up. He probably clicks like Sludge Wave or Ice Beam though. Um, Life Orb Hurricane will do a lot. We won't die. We don't have to be afraid of Static Paras anymore. He does go for the Sludge Wave because there's no wish in the air. I'm dumb. We chew though. Um, we can either Hurricane or you. I think we need. Do we need this Mon? If we don't, we just click Hurricane. Yeah, we just Hurricane. And this will do damage, damage. And we get Drake Vision. We miss, but it's fine. We still get Drake Vision. So, <laughs> um, we'll still get another kill, is what I'm saying. That's annoying, but that damage would have been nice when he inevitably tries to preserve it for the Vish. Um, I just need to see him to go into the Ore Beetle. That's my signal. Heal your Soul Galio. We click the Fishy Rend. We pick one up. If it's this Nido Queen, we're in a good spot.
if it's the Ore Beetle, not as much. It's the Dragapult. This is gonna do damage, damage. It's not gonna kill, obviously. But. That's damage. Oh, you cannot stop. <laughs> um. Good. I kinda wanna try to heal my Solgaleo on this. Like, Darts is strong, though. This is interesting. No. That's definitely not the play as Hard Mien Xiao. I know that some people like Hard Mien Xiaoing on some stuff because it's a great offensive pivot. You get it in and then it'll U turn a bunch, it'll regen off all your health. But. He just darts. Yeah. Okay. Um. I feel like I. Again. Like the moon blast. I feel like the double for me is so obvious, but I don't want to like throw away a mon to making a bad double. But I feel like I could do that if I do that badly. And playing with a wish in the air is making my plays a lot more free, so. Yeah, he goes into the Nido Queen. The fact that I have no more immunity to earth power will make him probably want to click it here. I'm going to try to condition him into catching this wish with Silgalio. Um, and then... And worst comes to worst, Dracovish kill. He does go for it. Okay, well, we tried. Um, because like I feel like I've made that play into the Dracovish, heal it, and then I have the piece still. But you know what? We're fine. <laughs> um, I'm kind of scared of a Scarf Guard War in the back. Um, but I have an Aromatease still. Okay, what's the sack here? I feel like it's the Dragapult, which is low enough at this point. If I crunch there, it would have been, I'd pull. this Nido Queen is scared. Is it Scarf Guard? I feel like he would have gone Scarf Guard to prevent me, but that's beyond me. He goes into the Pult. That's Dead Pult. Um, I feel like he goes Guardy to Revenge, and at that point I have to scout for Scarf until he switches moves or something like that. And we'll be in a solid spot. Mian Xiao is not doing what I need it to do at this point either. He's got the Guard of War in. What's even got left alive? It's this. Nido Queen and Um War Beetle. That War Beetle, I have no idea what it's doing in the back. I feel like I have to go into my aroma tease. Tangela will tank any Scarf Guard War hit, which is good to know as well. How much does my Aromatease take? Two oh seven down to one. I don't know. I was. I think I was one oh three, one oh one oh four, which is max roll from Scarf. But I got a wish and then protect. I have to protect. Um, this is not a good spot, I will admit. Um, not sure what exactly I'd do. Um, I wasn't even paying attention to see what he clicked. I assume Sludge Wave. I don't think Tangela checks anything anymore. And it gives Dracovish a kill. So, <laughs> goodbye Tangela. 
We play that game, and I think I lose the end game to Scarred Guard. But, ugh, yeah, it's definitely a Scarf Guard of War. And War Beetle, I'm not even sure what exactly it does. Actually, Aromatis can stall out Guard of War. If you give me the Nido Queen, I become a lot more freed up. But I'm I think I'm up on the Sack game. It's just I need to make sure that my Sack game doesn't lose to Guard of War. Uh, he does save the Nido Queen as a Sack. He goes into the Ore Beetle. Um, you frisk my scarf. That's fine. As long as we do a KO this thing, and we Oko it, so we're fine. Um, still fine. You could go guard double into... Queen. And that'd be pretty good for me. Um, I don't need to go hard aromatease. Either, but... Hard aromatease is still my play. I wish. If he doubles, I sack my Mian Chao. Um, and then get a Dracovish kill. He does just Moonblast though, so I wish Protect sack my Mian Chao. Yeah, it's a much lower roll. Wish Protect sack Mian Chao. Um, and we'll be able to like stall out Guard minus Crit. So that's good to know. Moonblast has 16 or 24 PP. Um, Moonblast. Liam Hickerman. 24. Protect. I do not think I've been playing particularly aggressively or anything. I don't think I've been playing particularly... He gets up the rocks. Good play. Um, I sack Mian Xiao, though. I don't think rocks is a winning play. I think it is close to it, but I don't quite think it is. <laughs> um, I sack Mian Xiao. Get my one with Dracovish. Sack at the Guard of War. And then win the 1v1 game with Aromatis. Is I think how this game plays out. Um, ways that it doesn't play out like that. Crits. Crits are the way. Moonblast has 24 PP, which means I will be able to solve it with a combination of which plus protect. Just drops up. Drops would be annoying. I have to dodge a bunch of crits for that to happen. But that's fine. Me and Chow should die here to a sludge wave. It doesn't. So. Get off a knock. Which doesn't really matter unless he decides to go hard to guard of war. In which case, Dracovish just wins. We get rid of the life orb, which is perfectly good. But, yeah, knock was our only play there because if he goes guard of war and we get the scarf for whatever reason, that'd be great. And then we go fish. We click fish is rend, and then click fish is rend again. He has to let the Nido Queen go down, or he raw loses. Um. Yeah, I think Tone played this well. I just think that Chase and Bill teams are good. And if he's not Scarf Guard of War, got my ass. I will say that much. But you are definitely Scarf Guard of War. Thankfully, it's a strong draw, not like a beneficial ability for it. Like Fairy Absorb. Imagine if this shit was Fairy Absorb. 
And then I think we just PB stall the ending. Um, he plays for crit. Rend. He is Scarf. Yep, we we knew that pretty much. We didn't know no, but we knew. It's that kind of vibe, you know. If you know, you know. Here comes the Aromatisse, and we just wish protect, wish protect, wish protect, until he starts struggling. I think we begin with a protect for this sequence because we have that many. Um, so what I'm seeing is we go protect. He's used three moon blasts, I believe. This will be his fourth. And that will be protect. We need to protect. Blast. Moon blast. Fine. And it's pretty. 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 It's Cool. Um, and then he does the 